Hello again. Today, gonna do a little review of Nendoroid number 129, the Hatsune Miku Absolute HMO Edition. Good small company as usual. Or in other words, Hatsune Miku Orchestra. And look around at the box. Yeah, typical Nendoroid box. It's a box. Yeah, and. Here's the Nendoroid. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Let's see the pigtails are posable in multiple ways. Here as well, of course. And this little thing moves too, if you wanna. Oh, I disconnected her from the base. Oh, else? And her arms can move in many ways as well. She has a some sort of joint on her hip and yeah. oh, oh oh her pigtail fell and anyways whatever some of the faces she comes with. Right here, old smiley face, and there's the winky face there, and then there's this sort of blank expression, and a whole bunch of other stuff. There's two little keyboards, a black and a gray one. There's these electronic drums, and the kick pad thingy. And a megaphone, a recorder, alternate headphones in case you don't want the ones with the wires coming out, and some extra hands in case you don't want her with just the sleeves, and also there's these sleeves with uh, grooves for holding stuff and let's go ahead and look at some alternate poses shall we and here I've got her with the blank expression on her face and a megaphone and one thing to note about this Nendroid is posing it can be kind of a pain because the peg does not really want to go into her back very well and then it gets disconnected and she falls over. Uh, but anyways, also I kind of forgot to mention that she comes with sunglasses too. Mainly I forgot to mention that because I had it on another Nendoroid, but oh wells. See? Sunglasses. Isn't that nice? And... I can show you some other stuff. And here I have her jamming on keyboards, wearing sunglasses. And... 
just proven to me yet again that posing this thing is really kind of a pain. It just doesn't connect to the stand that well and keeps popping out. And also the pigtails pop out really easily too. And, and these hands here also pop out really easily. But yeah, in any case, uh, it's still, still great in Enderoid. Probably the best Miku Nenderoid compared to the original. There's probably not that much point in getting the original one anymore if you don't already have it. I mean, really? Plus, it usually goes for like $100 on eBay now, anyway, so. May as well just get this one. It comes with more stuff. Posing issues aside. And... Yeah. This was just released about a month or two ago, so... This one should be easy to find still. And anyways, that's it for this review. And there's still more to come. So, see you later. By the way, these here are the stickers for the faces of the Rin and Len Nenderoids, I guess, so you can switch them around, make them look more like the uh, HMO Miku, I guess. They're really well hidden, though. They're actually on the back of the insert that goes in the box. But uh, I'm just going to keep them there anyways, because I don't have those Nenderoids. And I have severe doubts that I'm ever going to get them. Not that big a fan of those two anyways. But yeah, just so you know.